Americans and Mexican Americans celebrate. It's called Day of the Dead. It's a day of remembrance for those who have passed on. So there are a lot of places in the area that we'll be celebrating, including Revolucion Mexican Steakhouse in Lakeview. So here to show us one of the unique recipes they're serving up is Chef Mike Rosenthal, who's creating one of the dishes for tonight's menu. How are you? I'm doing excellent. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. So Day of the Dead has some specific kind of foods that go along with it, like... Yeah, there's some really comforting foods like mole, tamales, mm -hmm. um, some pan de muerto, which is meant to look like bones. Wow, and that's a bread, right? Yeah, it's a bread, it's a and sweet bread. And then the little sugar skulls, yeah. which I actually think are cute. I think some people, when they first see them, go, woo! But, um, so you actually brought, you are the owner of a sorbet company. Yes. And you brought what you're making for Revolution tonight. Yeah, so um, my company's called Sorbet Smith, based uh -huh. out of Chicago. And uh, I'm going to be showcasing a sorbet, but we're also going to show one of the cocktails that um, a very talented general manager and mixologist, Jorge Rios, made. Oh, nice. Um, that's going to be featured tonight. Okay. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that real quick. Okay, cool. Um, it's he knows us. <laughs> it was like, yeah, 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 sorbet. That's what I make, but I know you want the drink. So yeah, show us what you got. It's the time. It's time for a cocktail. Okay. So. Um, this is a special cocktail that Jorge crafted, mm -hmm. and this is something called Vuelve de, Vuelve de Vida, which means return to life. Ah, oh, so it brings you back from the dead. It brings you back. And that's what's in this this um, barrel right yeah, here? Yeah, so this is something that um, Jorge and Revolucion have been working on for about five or six weeks now. Oh, boy. And this is a combination of Cristal tequila from Casa Noble, uh -huh. um, dry curacao. Uh -huh. uh, dry vermouth, I'm sorry, and French curacao. Uh -huh. So that um, is all mixed together. It's been sitting there, taking in the unique flavors of the French oak barrel. Oh, boy. And then... Uh, is that is that what I'm supposed to taste in the front right there? Here, yeah, this well, is, reach, reach that on this over This is here. a cocktail. So, because uh, I could use a pick-me-up in the morning. She's a drunk. Although it's not... It's not Pardon the alarm. It's all over after I had it. Do you see the fire coming out of my Yeah, breath? return to life. Come back, That's come a, back to me. And this is special for tonight only. This is, so yeah, okay, this is great. something that we may do in the future, but uh, for right now, I like come this. in tonight. Okay, well, show us what you made for tonight. We, uh, we, don't, we were saying this before you came on, that we don't think we've ever seen anybody make sorbet, so how does it go? It's a first for everything. So yes. sorbet is pretty much like ice cream, but it's a little healthier for you. There's no dairy. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to make it fun, though. Mm -hmm. um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a simple syrup with a special Mexican sugar called piloncillo. Okay. Um, that is pretty much as minimally processed sugar as you can get. So it's kind of raw out of the... Yeah, it looks like this. It looks like little cones. Oh. Um, the name actually means uh, little pylons. Okay. Um, so this it does is look wrong. like little things you would build a building on oh. top of. Look at this. Okay, yeah, so we're going to build some with sorbet this? with it. Okay. Um, so we're going to make a simple syrup with mm -hmm. two cups of water and about eight ounces of the piloncillo, which I ground up. Wow, it that's smells this. interesting. Okay, so that's the result. Yeah, so really deep, rich, brown sugar quality. Got it. So we're going to put that in there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to smell that. Got to do uh, oh, yeah. quality control. Oh, wow. It smells like honey. Yeah, a little mm -hmm. smokiness, a little caramel note. Mm -hmm. um, and the simple syrup was also made with the orange zest and <gasps> whole cinnamon. That's why. Okay. So then from there, while it's still warm, we're going to put in our uh, organic pumpkin. Okay. So we're going to plop that in there. So you cooked down some pumpkin and mashed it up? Uh, actually, we like to use, I think for consistency purposes, there's some really good quality pumpkin that's out there that there's no additives. Okay. They don't add any sugar or anything mm -hmm. like that. So you've got to look for the good organic stuff. you got to use the good stuff. Okay, cool. It, All right. It really shows. Um, and to make up for some of that creaminess that we're going to lose from milk or heavy cream, mm -hmm. we're going to use one of my favorite products, which is this right here. What is that? It's not hand lotion. It is coconut milk. Oh, wow. It's really thick. You want yeah, to put that in there? I can actually help. Yeah, get it. So this is unsweetened <laughs> coconut mm -hmm. um, that we're going to put in there, which is really good for you. It actually has magnesium, which is a calming agent. Oh, I like to calm down. Yeah, I've got to. Okay. Um, and then to kind of kick it up a little bit, we're going to use some fresh squeezed orange juice. Mm -hmm. This one squoze this morning. <laughs> you squoze it? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put that in there. Am I continually stirring Yeah, this? stir okay. it up. Mm -hmm. um, at home, we would blend it okay. together after we add some flavoring agents. Okay. Which is a little more um, nice good quality cinnamon. Wow, so you're hitting the cinnamon several times. Yeah, you know, cinnamon is big in Mexico. We want to make sure that it really hits you. Wait a minute, I'm trying to remember the name. Canela? Canela, yes. yes. Okay, yeah, cool. Good. And what else is this? We're also using some Mexican vanilla, mm -hmm. which has a nice spicy note to it. Right. And this is one of my favorite things to work with also. This is fresh nutmeg. Oh, okay. Which we're going to ground in, and a little goes a long way. I never knew nutmeg was actually a nut. Oh, yeah, it's it actually like the it. seed of an evergreen tree. Oh. 
You learn you know. something new every day. And then uh, we're going to throw a little bit of salt in there just to kind of bring out the natural sweetness of the coconut and the orange. Okay. Um, so we're going to mix this up and uh, blend it, and then we're going to chill it overnight. We're not going to do that today. Okay. Yeah, because um, I was going to say that's so not going to be the payoff. This. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to have is a base, and we're going to pour the base into our ice cream machine. So you use the same sort of tools for sorbet that you use for ice cream, and then it comes out pretty much the same? Is exactly. that the deal? It comes okay. out better. I, okay, <laughs> well, we'll be the judge of that as we taste now. I love, let's get a shot of this so we can see how cute his little skull is. Look at this. Love it. And what did you put on the bottom? Wait, so, yeah, so this is, um, this is the caramelized pumpkin vanilla sorbet. Oh, and, yum! Uh, it's made with a little uh, guava fruit eyes. This um, is good. Pepitas nose, which is a uh, pumpkin seed that I roast with a little ancho chili powder. And then a toasted marshmallow with a raspberry sauce and a mango tequila sauce featuring the Añejo tequila from Casa Noble. You rock, my friend. Thank this you. is like a good pumpkin pie. Yeah. But like cold and creamy. And better for you. Yes. <laughs> Even that. Thank you so much, Mike. We appreciate it. My pleasure. If you want to check out Day of the Dead festivities at Revolucion Mexican Steakhouse, they're there at 3443 North Broadway. Everything is happening tonight. Revolucion with a C. Steakhouse.com is where you can find more information. And they do still have reservations open for tonight. Coming up. The